Well, back to Dartmoor this evening then. And uh, I've come out with a couple of objectives really. One, obviously I'd like to catch a few little trout that live in this river. But two, I'm hoping to get a view of the bluebells up in the woods. If you can time it right, some years you get a fantastic display of bluebells and wild garlic up above the waterfall up there. So we'll have a look at that hopefully later on. But um, fishing first. I've had a few fish come up and splash at the fly so far, but I've only managed to connect with one little tiny one. There's actually a fair few black gnats about, so I think I'm going to change and put one of them on. Well, the black gnat didn't work, it kept sinking all the time, so I've gone back to my standard bushy Wickhams. Nice little trout for the evening. Lots of little tiny tackers tonight. Still fun though. Now, finally hooked into something a bit better. I didn't think I was ever going to get one. It's so tiny stuff. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful fish. Ah, it's pinged off. Right, I'm just gonna have a few casts in this little, the little tributary here. Sometimes there's a fish in this pool up here underneath the tree. Ah, <laughs> I missed it. Expected to take in there. Ah, oh, came off. I don't think they're very big. <laughs> Let's get back to the main river. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like that. Whoa. I don't 
don't know if it's the fish just splashing at the fly or my poor striking, but I'm missing a lot tonight. Through those rocks now. Try that top pole up there. <laughs> A very dark trout there. That. Black. Right in that pot there. Helicopters about. It's because of ten tours, probably. For anyone who might be interested, I've had best success tonight with the ever reliable Wickham and a little clink hammer type fly that I that I use a lot of. It's coming in now. Okay, they didn't spot me. <laughs> yeah, the clink hammer is it's a mixture really of an old Devon pattern called a beacon beige and an Adams. So it's got that like ginger and grizzle hackle mixed together. I quite like it as well if I'm gonna fish the duo, because with two hackles you can put plenty of turns of hackle on and, and you can easily hang like a two to three mil bead off it, no problem. Let's have a go in here. Ah, oh, missed. I look like a slightly better one. I was so late on that, I was almost back down to the rock by the time I struck. No. I got it this time, but it's only little. Ah, uh, heart was in my mouth then for a minute. I thought it was going to be the monster from last year. I always can't help thinking when I look in here, years ago they probably were in salmon, weren't they? All held up along this ledge, waiting to run the falls. Our times have changed. I 
And it's certainly worth the walk. Absolutely beautiful. I don't expect this camera is quite doing it justice, but uh, this big carpet of bluebells just all the way up that slope there. Well, it's not quite out in force yet, but still the most amazing smell of wild garlic here. Well, it's pretty quiet this evening. A few little ones, one slightly better one. But uh, I've put the fly through quite a lot of places now where I'd have expected to rise and nothing's happened. So I think I'm going to call that it. So I'll catch you next time.